So I was a vegetarian for 20 years. I know I look like I'm 18, so that's a little confusing. And then I started having these really intense dreams that I was eating fried chicken. So you know what happens, I ate fried chicken. There are three things that I've learned about meat ever since I started eating meat again. Meat is delicious. I am no longer hungry. And most importantly, meat is really good when you pair it with more meat. Mom Cam and the minivan. And welcome to our next episode of Mom Cam and the minivan. I'm your host, Amanda. We just got back from a Disney cruise. There are so many tips out there, a lot of blogs, like 579 of them, and they all have these great tips, but I'm not sure how realistic they actually are after I've taken my trip. So I'm here to provide some more realistic tips for a Disney cruise. Number one, on your departure flight to your cruise destination, I'd recommend ordering the glass of Chardonnay. When your daughter yells out, if we die, at least I look pretty. Number two, like all the blogs say, pack a lot more underwear for your kids than you think you'll need. What they don't say, pack your underwear. Number three, take advantage of the Broadway style shows every night. And I'd highly recommend that when your son starts chasing the magician around the entire theater begging to be picked as a volunteer, just hide and pretend like he's not your kid. It's easy because there are over a thousand seats. I'd highly recommend doing the swim with dolphins excursion in Tortola. Just be warned that if you decide to wear bright orange lipstick when you kiss the dolphin, that not only will you get the lipstick all over that dolphin, you'll also get it over the nine strangers with you. Finally, if you're looking to maintain a healthy diet while you're on your cruise, I'd recommend simply not going on the cruise. Thanks for watching, y'all. That concludes this episode of Mom Cam and the Minivan.